Hi, this is Dr. Corator, and this is how to do uh, finish up the query we were doing in class where we wanted to count the number of prospects that had worked at it in uh, 2006. This was with the volunteers database. And this is where we left it. We have a query here that picks all the names out of the prospect table and it picks the dates from uh, that they worked out of the work table and it picks the dates that are grouped by um, excuse me that are between January 1st 2006 and 12 31 2006 so basically 2006 so if I run that we get uh, Carter worked twice in 2006, CJ worked twice, Peter worked once in the dates. Now this is where we stopped in class. It would be nice to collapse these so it would say Carter two times in 2006, CJ Green two times, Peter Lopez in two times. So what we need to do conceptually is we need to use this query which I call 2006 number of times query. We need to use that query as input to another query that would count how many times Carter worked here. So we've already filtered through the 2006 part, now we need to count within that. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll do create a new query, query design, and I'm going to use, instead of a table as my input, I'm going to use the query, 2006 number of times that we were just looking at and basically I want to display the name and the date. I want to pick the sigma totals here so that I can group by the name so I'll have Carter Wu once and then I want to count the number of dates that that person has. So I'll pick count. So take a minute to look at that and Oops, I unchecked that by accident. We'll go ahead and run that. And this is what we are trying to get. This is called a subquery. Not hard, you just have to think about it. So that's the end of the video. I gotta figure out how to turn the video off. <laughs>